Hey, welcome back guys. So in this video, we're going to cover one of the most important parts and that is the navigation commands. So when you're working with terminal, one of the most important thing is being able to navigate different files and folders. If you don't know how to do that, well then you're going to be in big trouble. So let's go ahead and get started and take a look at the different topics we're going to cover in this video. So we're going to go ahead and talk about different directories such as what is a root directory? How can you access the root directory? What is a home directory? How can you access the home directory? And then once we are in those directory, how can we change the directories? If we are already in one folder, I'm gonna get go to some another folder. How can I go there? How can I go from, let's say my home directory directly to my desktop or from desktop directly to my home directory? You know, all of those different things. We need to understand how we can do all of that without the use of graphical user interface. And then we will also see how we can view where we are, what, which is what is my current directory that I'm on. Because a lot of times you need to copy your current directory so that you can use it in some kind of uh, files that you're trying to build or some utility functions you're building. So for that, you need to know what your current directory is. So we will take a look at how to access that as well. So these are the fundamental things that you need to understand when working with command line tools. So let's head over to our terminal and get started. All right, so I'm back here in Ubuntu and here we're going to take a look at what is our root directory. So the root directory is your top level or the starting point of your machine. So this is where all your folders and files starts from. So if I head over to let's say my files here. So right here I'm inside the home folder and within the home folder I have all of these folders. But there's also a parent folder above this as well. Now in some of your cases you might be able to access it using the other locations and going to your computer. And this exactly is my root directory. So this is where you're going to see all of your folders such as the home folder that I was just talking about. Within that you can see different users as to have my DJ user and a temporary user. And then you will also see something called a root folder which is a subdirectory inside the root and it's confusing because this is also named root but this is not the root I'm referring to. The root I'm referring to is this point right here where I have all of these different folders. Now to access this inside your terminal you can use that using another command that we're going to learn which is how to change directory. So for that we can do cd that is change directory and if you just type in forward slash this is where it's going to take you to your root directory. So the moment I hit enter you're going to notice this sign will change. So I'm going to hit enter and you can notice now that I have this forward slash sign right over there. So here I'm inside my root directory and this is where I'm going to see all of this different information. And one of the command that we have learned before is list out all of the files or directories inside my current path. So I can do that using ls and the moment I do that you can see I'm seeing the same folders. So I have my bin, dev, lib, lib32, opt, run and even the root that we were looking at that should be here somewhere as well right here. So we see the exact same folders that we have here inside my cd forward slash. So the path for this particular thing is forward slash. Now this is important to know because sometimes you need to get an understanding of what is inside your root directories and how your file structures are set up. So that's how you can go ahead and access it. Wherever you are, once you simply do cd forward slash, you're going to head over to your root directory and from there you can decide to do whatever you want to do. Now there's something else called a home directory. Now the root directory is your top level, but the home directory is the top level for your user. That means the user you're logged in with. So if I go back to my graphical user interface or in my file system, right here if I go to my home, this is my home directory. So this is all of the information that I have for my particular user. Now the home directory is going to be different for each individual users that are in your machine. So for example, if I go back to my other locations again, go to computer and in the users, which is actually let's go to home. Now right here, I have two users. So the home directory is going to be different for this DJ user and the home directory is going to be different for the temp user as well. Now, how can we access the home directory directly from our terminal? Well, we can do that just the way we did cd forward slash. We can type in cd and I can do tilde, which is this squiggly sign right over here. If I do that, now I'm going to be accessing my home directory for my logged in user. And I can verify that by just doing ls. And you can notice the same thing that we were seeing before. That is our desktop documents and all of those information, which is this, if I go to dj, all these desktop documents, downloads, music, all those things, you can find it over here as well. So remember, people often get confused with the root directory and the home directory. So the root directory is the top levels. So basically for any user, that is going to be the top level point 
for everyone. Doesn't matter how many users there they are in your machine, they will all point to the same root directory. But for the home directory, each individual user will have its own home directory. So to access root directory, we're gonna do cd forward slash, and to access root directory, we're gonna do cd till design. Now, while we're talking about the cd, which is the chain directory, let's take a look at how this works a little bit in detail. So we have already seen how we can chain directory and get down to, let's say, a root level or to our home level. But what if we want to switch from one folder to another folder, go from parent to child to child to parent? How do we do all of that? Well, let's head over to, first of all, over here, I'm in my home directory. And I know that because I can see this still design right here. If I type in ls, you can notice I have all of these different folders. So I can just do cd and go to desktop and this will go inside my desktop folder. I can do, and I can type in tab here or basically just hit the tab key and you will notice that it automatically filled in the folder name, which was the one folder that was there inside the desktop. So let me actually just remove that and just go to desktop. And here, if I type in ls, you can notice I have one folder called important right here. Now I can go to that important folder again by doing cd important. So this is how I can keep going inside the child folder. Now, if you notice, I'm inside desktop and then inside important. Now here, if I wanna go back to my previous directory, that means if I'm from important, I'm gonna go back to my desktop, I can do cd and then I will do dot dot. That means go one level up. Wherever you are, just go one level up from there. So the moment I hit enter, you can notice I came to desktop right there. If I do cd dot dot again, it's gonna go back to the home directory because you notice the directory before that was the home directory. What if I do cd dot dot again, where would it go? Well, it will go to the forward slash home directory from there. And if I do cd dot dot again, now from there, it's gonna go to the root level. Now from here, I can go back and those same things again. For example, I can go to my home again and you can notice here, I have all of those different folders. I can go to my home. Within home, I have different users. So I can go to, let's say DJ. Within there, I have a lot of different folders, again, desktop and so on. So I can go to my desktop and then I'm back to where I was in the beginning. So remember, wherever you are, if you do cd dot dot, you're gonna go one level up. Now let's say if I go back to the important folder. Now from here, I wanna directly go to the home directory that is the two level up. So I can do that by doing cd dot dot forward slash dot dot. That means I'm going two folder levels above my current folder level. So if I hit enter, it's gonna go directly to that tilde sign. There you go. So it just switched directly, uh, basically jumped from the important and desktop directly to my home directory. Same thing, I can go back to my child directory as well by just typing in, let's say, cd desktop, important, and I can switch directly back over there. So this is how you can switch between different folder levels and you can keep adding dot dot as many as you want. Let's say dot dot. Okay, let's go here, dot, dot, and then I can do dot, dot again, then do dot, dot again. And this way I will keep going one level up, one level up, one level up. And if I do dot, dot again, then it's gonna take me directly to the root level. There you go. So I'm at the root level now because I just switched four different levels and now I'm directly in the root level. Now, one thing that you gotta understand, which is really common is understanding where you are, like what is your current path for your working directory. So if I type in something called PWD, that is print the working directory. And if I hit enter, it's gonna tell you that, hey, the working directory right now is your forward slash. That means the root directory. Now from here, I can go ahead and select different options. So let's say if I go CD, and then I can go to, go back to my, let's say the desktop and go to important. Now here, if I type in PWD, you're gonna notice it goes all the way from your home directory, then it goes to my user, then it goes to desktop, and then goes to important. So it's telling me all of the different hierarchy. So let's say forward slash home, then DJ, then desktop, and then important. This is really important because a lot of times you need to know where am I? Like, let's say I wanna get the path for my current directory. I can simply type in PWD and it's gonna give me the path for my current working directory. And then obviously once you're there, you can type in LS to list out all of your different commands. So here I can, for example, have a single file called pass.txt and I can list that out. Now we looked into listing files already in the past, but let's say if I go back to my home directory and I type in ls, you're gonna see it's listing all of those things out. But if I do ls-l, it will list out the same thing, but in a long format. So we looked at it before as well. And if I do, let's say ls-la, it's gonna list out all the files along with all the hidden files. So you can notice now I'm seeing all of those dot dot files as well, such as dot bashrc, dot bashlogger. These are all the hidden files that are stored inside my uh, let's say the home directory. 
So this is important because a lot of your SSH files and important key things are going to be stored as hidden. So you need to be able to find them and you can do that by simply doing ls-a and it's going to list out all of your hidden files from there. All right, so to quickly summarize, navigation commands are extremely important. The main ones that you're gonna work with is how to switch to your root directory. You can do that by doing cd forward slash. How you can go to your home directory, you can do cd tilde. And then from there, how you can switch to your parent directory and a child directory. So let's say if I wanna go to child directory, I can simply do cd, then go to desktop, go to important. And if I go to my parent directory, I can do cd dot dot. It's gonna go one level up. And if I want to go two level up, I can do cd dot dot forward slash dot dot and it's going to go two level up now. And then finally, if you want to take a look at what is your current working directory, you can type in pwd and you can take a look at that. And then we have another covered how we can list out all of the different files, including the hidden files. You can do ls a and it's going to list all of those things out for you. Now, one thing that you see over here is dot is basically the current directory dot dot is that means there is a parent directory above this as well. That's why you see dot dot over there too. So there you go, we did a quick overview of accessing our Linux navigation commands, how to access root directory, home directory, change directory, as well as view the current directory. All of these are really important if you're working in IT, you should be able to understand how you can work around different file systems and folders and so on. That's it for this video guys, if you enjoyed this video and want to support my work, please consider subscribing to my channel and give this video a like. And if you're looking to get started in your SDET career, please make sure to check out the SDET Unicorns Academy where you will have access to all the courses plus get direct support from me whenever you get stuck during your learning experience. Now all of this Linux series will be available in my academy as well along with all the new ones that I'm going to be adding in will all show up over there. So if you want to learn more about Linux terminal and get a good understanding of command line options then make sure you check out those series in the Azure Unicorns Academy. Thanks again for watching I will see you in the next one.